experiments show evidence of a property of electrons that goes beyond charge and mass, which is called the intrinsic angular momentum or spin. Like the orbital angular momentum of an electron in an atom, the intrinsic angular momentum can also interact with an external magnetic field via the associated magnetic moment, which is manifested in a splitting of degenerate energy levels of atoms. In this experiment, using a cadmium lamp and an electromagnet, the normal Zeeman effect on red light and the anomalous Zeeman effect on green light is studied. The experimental setup comprises cadmium lamp, electromagnet on a rotating table, fabri perot interferometer, CCD camera, three lenses, iris diaphragm, polarizing filter, polarizing plate lambda coder, interference and red filter for wavelength selection. The interference pattern of the interferometer is projected onto a CCD camera through a magnifying scope. The scope is built with two lenses on the left side. Before starting the measurements, the spectral lamp should be connected to the power supply on the bottom. The coils of the electromagnet should be connected to the upper power supply and the capacitor through a current meter. Before taking pictures for the interference rings, wait for the current that runs through the coil to stabilize. Remove the polarizing filters, the polarizing plate and the iris diaphragm from the beam path. Turn on the electromagnet so that the spectral lamp can be observed directly through the opening on one of the poles of the electromagnet. Place a lens between the electromagnet and the interferometer and adjust the beam path. Set the current supply for the coil to 5 ampere. Adjust the interference pattern on the CCD camera. One can adjust the CCD camera's contrast, brightness and saturation settings on the computer. Rotate the magnet by 90 degrees so that the lamp is directly visible from the beam path. Put an iris diaphragm in the path where the opening on one of the electromagnet pole was previously located. Now adjust the iris diaphragm to obtain a sharp interference pattern. Measurement of the normal Zeeman effect in the transverse direction. Remove both the polarizing filter and the interference filter from the beam path and insert the red filter. Capture the interference rings for at least five different values for the current supplied to the coil. Measure as many as possible within the range from 4 to 10 ampere. Each ring should be split by the magnetic field into three components. The radii of the rings can be measured by the software on the PC. Measurement of the anomalous Zeeman effect. Remove the red filter and place the interference filter on the lens attached to the left of the interferometer. In order to better distinguish the rings from each other, place a polarizing filter between the lenses in the front of the camera. Measure the interference rings and the radii in the same way as for the normal Zeeman effect. You should now observe a splitting of nine rings. Measurement of the polarization of the emitted light in both Zeeman effects. Place the polarization filter between the two lenses behind the interferometer. Set the coil current to 5 ampere. With the red filter, observe the rings directly when the polarization filter is adjusted to horizontal and vertical polarization respectively. Then observe the same thing with the interference filter. Measurement of the polarization of the emitted light in the anomalous longitudinal Zeeman effect. Remove the iris diaphragm and insert the polarizing plate in front of the polarization filter. Turn the magnet so that the spectral lamp can be observed through the poles of the electromagnet. Observe the rings again with the interference filter for a current of 5 ampere when the polarization filter is rotated by plus or minus 45 degrees. Thank you.